my name is Michelle and I work at Happy Kiss Pole Fitness. I'm an instructor there. It's a pole dance studio. All we do is pole. We have some floor work classes and everything. Um, it's totally for everyone. We have uh, all kinds of people coming in. Sometimes we'll have classes with like surgeons, Waffle House managers, moms, children, all kinds of people. As a pole dancer, you'll be learning how to pirouette around the pole, uh, fan kicks, climbing, inside and outside leg hangs, leg switches, inverted crucifix, rosebud. Those are some of like the basic moves that you'll start learning when you're in level one, level two. And then once you're in level three, you start learning different advanced transitions, things like dragon tail or eagle or more showy moves. Now, once we get inside the studio, it's just a super open place. We always joke that we get here, take off our pants, put on our shoes, and just have a different level of openness than we can have in our normal lives. This is like our safe haven from our normal jobs or our families or friends where the boundaries are just different and we're just a lot more comfortable with each other. In pole, there's a whole sort of attire that we wear with a lot of moves, it's kind of like the less clothes you're wearing, the better, because you need different parts of your skin to be able to stick onto the pole and hold yourself up there. Um, so the outfits can get really fun, really cute. And the shoes, it's another part of pole that I just love and get so excited about. I think I have like five different pairs of heels. Most of them are over seven, eight inches. They elevate your spirit, <laughs> truly. So I work at a hospital as a nurse and recently my coworkers found out that I pole dance and everybody started making a huge deal out of it and dealing with uh, management and doctors and everything I find it a lot easier for me to just say that it's kind of like a gymnastics type of sport where in reality it means a whole lot more to me and I think just confining it to the gymnastic athletic aspect is really selling it short. It's really so much more than that, but I find it easier to kind of like put it in that safe box because not everybody is super open to the sensual side of it. I think what I wanna do as a dancer is to incorporate the sensual side of pole along with the creative side of putting together a piece and then getting to share I create with others and get other people to realize that a woman's body isn't a thing that needs to be shamed or hidden or talked badly about or judged. I mean, I think that a woman's body is beautiful. Everybody is beautiful in how you think about your body and how you think about other women's bodies. It's a lifestyle, it's a mindset of openness continual celebration of your body and what you can do with it and what others can do with it and appreciating those differences. For a person to be able to start a class feeling like crap and then end a class feeling in their bodies and feeling in control and feeling sexy, to be able to feel sexy and to make yourself get there instead of depending on somebody else's um, definition of sexy is extremely powerful, extremely empowering. I think that growing up, I was taught that my sensuality was something that happened behind closed doors. Pole has really allowed me to bring that sensual side of myself into my walking daily life and has allowed me to own that side of myself, which has just opened up so many doors to my personality in interacting with other people. I feel like I'm a whole lot more confident and I just really think that it changed the game in terms of being open about who I am.